Motor vehicle sales figures out this morning show continued strong growth for March following a revival that started in January. Total industry sales were up 20% compared to last year, while they were 11% higher than February's numbers. For more on this, I'm joined by Marcel de Klerk. He's the managing executive of Absa Vehicle and Asset Finance. On the line, we're joined by Norman Lamprecht. He's managing executive of the Automotive Industry Export Council and also a member of the National Association of Automobile Manufacturers. Good afternoon, gents. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, Marcel, nice growth again, but it's off a low base, of course. And March this year also had two extra working days more than March last year. So that skews it slightly, but still positive news. Well, still uh, extremely positive. Uh, the numbers that we saw in March, uh, as expected. But I think the, the, the good news is, is if you really compare March numbers with the last quarter of last year, there's definitely stability and, uh, and, and increase year on year. You know, the 22 or the 21% that you did mention is from a period or comparing a period last year that was definitely the most distressed period in South Africa from a vehicle sales point of view. Comparing this March with, let's call it the last three months of last year, you still see a 15, 16% growth year on year. So that's extremely good news and we, we're probably ready for steady growth this year. Well, Norman, while we are seeing strong growth at the moment, we are coming off a low base and there has been a lot of shrinkage in the automotive sector. When do we get back to the peak that we reached a couple of years ago? Thank you. The, you know, we are anticipating a gradual increase, which will probably be more sustainable over the next couple of years. But realistically, I think we'll probably get only, only get back to that levels around 2013. As mentioned, the um, industry uh, is coming from a very, it, it, or the sales have been measured from a very low base last year. But after a three-year recession, I think we are in, in the, at the start of an upswing. And, um, we, and for this year specifically, we anticipate for the new vehicle market to increase by between 12 and 15 percent compared to the level of last year. Well, Marcel, what is interesting to see is truck sales, that's medium and heavy trucks, up strongly 31 percent year on year. Is this a sign of improving business confidence in the economy? Well, in that market, if you look at the commercial and, and corporate market, definitely some confidence picking up. Sales numbers are uh, definitely up, uh, drastically up year on year. And March is definitely one of the first, let's call it commercial, high purchase index month. That we, that we, and, and that's always a good indication of what you can expect in that commercial market. So uh, if you look at these numbers, uh, probably an indication, and I hope we're right, by saying that the commercial market will not be so deeply impacted as we originally thought. Uh, the, the sector that's definitely been hurt uh, the past year, and you still see it, is definitely the small business sector. And uh, we expect uh, that sector to be under strain for the bigger part of 2010. So uh, maybe good news in the commercial and media market. Um, Norman, what sort of damage has been done to car makers over the past couple of years with those shrinking sales? We have heard, of course, of dealerships merging, um, lots of consolidation among the dealers. How about the manufacturers, though? Because they must have suffered and they must have had to lay off lots of jobs. Yes, last year was basically for in terms of employment uh, recorded as the lowest level of the past 22 years. We've seen some consolidation towards the latter part of the year and definitely with the anticipated uh, increase in, in the domestic market, new vehicle sales as well as on the export side, uh, this will contribute towards um, the recovery process on the, on the employment side as well. But it, it was an extremely difficult year last year for the industry. Most indicators were at record low levels and at least this year, for the first quarter, we are seeing some positive and encouraging signs. Norman, any indication that car manufacturers are starting to employ more people again? We still have to, to do our first quarterly review, but as mentioned, uh, employment definitely stabilised towards uh, the, the, the third and the fourth quarter of last year. And with new investments, um, I'm very positive that we will see some increase in the first quarter of this year. Of course, Marcel, we do have the World Cup just two months away. We know that car rental firms have been stocking up their inventories ahead of the World Cup. Do you think consumers are going to be in a position to take over from the car rental companies after the World Cup? Steve and I, we believe uh, there's a certain sector of our consumers that will drive the sales after this, let's call it first half uh, growth in sales, as you, you know, driven really by the rental companies. And we can see that sector really as a premium market. You know, our consumers earning more than 20,000 Rand a month and upwards, uh, they will drive the market, they're getting back into the market, 
there's less cancellations of approved deals in that market. So uh, if we look at the year, probably uh, the first half of the year, driven more by the car rental companies. Second half of the year, definitely driven by the higher income uh, consumers. Uh, we don't foresee that the lower income consumers, you know, people earning 15,000 and 12,000 rand and lower, will have the ability to come into, back into the market this year. But the positive news is that that part of the consumers will probably be back in the market early 2011. What sorts of increase are you seeing in applications for car finance and of those applications, what percentage are you actually approving at this stage? Look, applications are always a confidence indicator and we've seen since uh, basically the, lot, uh, the latter part of last year, every month a 6-7% increase. This month between February and March, 11.6% increase in applications. And uh, you know, more applications, banks this year is coming to the party, we approve more. So if there's more applications, more approvals, uh, so the banks will definitely play uh, a critical role in getting this uh, the growth numbers that we are discussing or expecting this year. And what are the arrears looking like at this at, at this point? I mean, are people starting to pay to pay for their cars? Yeah. A good story for the banks. Uh, you know, if you look at just maybe I can mention one number: repossessions. Last year, this time in the first quarter of the year, the industry probably repossessed between six and th seven thousand vehicles a month. We probably now just over three thousand. So consumers definitely less consumers falling into arrears. More consumers uh, repaying their debt. More consumers. Uh, you know, getting uh, the house in order and back onto the feet. So uh, with that type of positive trends, the banks will also bring their part this year in stimulating the market. Well, Norman, you mentioned exports a while ago, and of course we know that exports fell by 35% in rand terms last year to about 61 billion rand. Improved nicely in March, though, up 19% again from a low base. Do you think we're going to see continued export demand? And um, given where the rand's sitting at the moment, of course, because that must be hurting the, the car sector as well. Yes, obviously the strong rand is not good for, for, the, on the, for the export side specifically, but as mentioned, the export performance for Mars was very positive. Um, with an, uh, the new vehicle increase, um, export figure is in basically in line with our expectations of an increase of around 30% this year on the vehicle side. On behalf of the Automotive Industry Export Council, I track the pro progress of the industry's trade balance and as mentioned, the 35% decline from the record 94 billion rand exports for vehicle and component export in 2008. Uh, on the import side, the strong rand obviously assisted that imports also declined and um, in line with the declining market. So the trade deficit uh, increased marginally from 14.7 to 18.9 billion rand last year, but that was still fairly um, below the 34.6 billion rand in 2007. For this year, we can just hope that the economic, economic recoveries in the industry's uh, main markets, Japan, USA and Europe, um, are sustainable and that will that is obviously the concern and the risk. But uh, for the moment, we anticipate that exports will start improving this year as well. well. Of course, that strong rand must be quite good news for increases this year, Marcel. So would you expect lower increases for people locally buying new, new cars? Definitely, we expect uh, uh, a price increase between 3 and 6%. Uh, and the 6% will probably only happen you know, with the emission tax kicking in later in the year. So definitely good news. Last year, we saw an average increase of over 11%. Uh, this year, low threes to four percent. And of course, we had that um, 50 basis point interest rate cut last month. That comes on top of the 500 basis points of cuts we had from December 2008. So this must make a meaningful difference in consumers' pockets. You know, the interest rates has been. Uh, it's now nearly 14 months since December 09, uh, December 08, that we started to saw the decline in interest rates. And the consumers, as I said, they're using the benefit of the interest rates uh, cuts to uh, to to get the house in order, reduce their debt and restructure the balance sheets. You know, if you just look at a normal house and vehicle, you know, that benefit is, is three and a half thousand rand a month, cash flow benefit that the consumers are now enjoying for the bigger part of 12 to 14 months. So a more positive year for the car industry this year then. Definitely. And I did note that there was one Lamborghini that was sold last month, so somebody's obviously got deep pockets out there. 